be said. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay. This, Sorry, go then ahead. Then you should tell them that then, they, then you came in, you landed just north of Rome. And yeah. Well, I did. Walked. I just, uh, we landed just north, uh, took us over from Italy then, and to Naples, and we were there, uh, stayed in there about a week, and then took us on ship up along the coast, and uh, uh, to the port of Rome, we served at Vecchia, and uh, we landed there, and they put us on trucks, and, and took us inland, I don't know, we couldn't see the, the uh, sea anymore, so we were in 30 miles or something mm -hmm. like that, three or four miles. And then just start walking north and um, finding the Germans. Yeah. And, uh, and that's when so. he first went into combat. Yeah. That was well, on July 4th. July the 4th was the first day I went into combat. Wow. In 1944. And then and, uh, I, I got home on Armistice Day, 1945. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Neat. Yeah. Then you you, you walked all the way up to Pisa. Yeah. yeah, I walked from from uh, Rome uh, all the way up. I was never in a truck again after they took us inland. And we walked and fought all the way up. And that's quite a way as you get a map out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to Slaghorn and Pisa. They're pretty close together on the west coast. And then uh, uh, walked all that way. Yeah. And then they put us on uh, trucks and took us horizontally just over to Florence. Okay. That's where we started the drive up to Highway 65. Okay. Up into the mountains? Yeah, really. Get okay. into the big mountain there. Okay. Yeah. Bill, you didn't finish after you were wounded. It, those guys took you back to the, to the base, to the, just the, can you hear me? Yeah. The, the, they just took you back down to the to the lines, and then and they flew you out to Rome. Oh yeah. Well, well after I was wounded, you mean? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I got back here. Uh, they helped me back to the battalion headquarters, mm -hmm. <coughs> and that's out in the field. You know, that's just out in the, uh, about four miles behind the front line, the battalion is, and uh, and uh, uh, they kept they gave me first aid there, and then. Uh, uh, took me over to a, to a, uh, an ambulance over to <coughs> a field hospital, and uh, then that field hospital overnight, and then uh, it was just a tent hospital out in the field. Okay. And uh, then took me on a plane, and next morning, C-47, and flew me to Rome. Wow. Yeah, uh, uh, Rome for three months. 27th of September when I got here. Mm -hmm. And I got out just a couple of days before Christmas. Okay. Out of the hospital. So, and did you go back to? You know, well, after, after uh, uh, got out of the hospital, uh, they, they reclassified me. I didn't have to go back to the front. Okay. I, couldn't, I couldn't walk it good, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so then they sent me back to Naples and they put me in an Air Corps outfit. 17th Depot Repair Squadron, it's based on an air, airfield there, okay. and uh, and uh, I drove a semi-trailer there, a truck, haul oh. gas, and uh, everything, you know, just haul gas. But then you went out and picked up. Oh yeah, well then they put us on detached duty, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, about 50 of us, 50 or 60 of us, and uh, over on the east coast. Um, of Italy. And we went across Italy up to Pano, little town of Pano. Well, we just took over a bank building there that was vacated, and, and the fighting was all north of us then, yeah. And uh, <coughs> we were, uh, uh, we had this big 40 foot, I was pulling a 40 foot flat trailer semi, you know, and then we had a uh, uh, a couple of 25 foot flat trailers, and uh, then a big C2 record with a very big boom out in front of it, you know. And uh, we could, uh, we had first over there to salvage planes. Mm -hmm. There were big, big air bases on the east coast of Italy, and Pano and, and Barry were, 
for B25 bases and also uh, B54 bases. The big four engine bombers were down south, brother. But the B25s were up closer and they made bomb runs over southern uh, uh, Germany and up into. Uh, they didn't get the big ones, but the Kolesky oil fields in Romania, and that's farther over. But then they bombed up there, and they'd get shot up and come back on the way back. Okay. And they just, it's pretty level over there on the coast, so they'd slide them in and walk away. Mm -hmm. But the wheat go up and take the wings off the plane and load them on the, uh, my 40 foot trailer and the smaller trailer, take them back down to Pano and, and put them in a salvage yard, and those other 40 guys were out there stripping parts out of them. See? They were in and then yeah. they were chipping them to the Yeah, they were uh, uh, running short parts, so that's what they did, struck the park out for repair. Okay, I see. <laughs> uh, what else you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so how, how, the, how were your experiences and everything that you experienced while you were overseas really shaped your life once you come back, once you came back home? Uh, Just being in the <laughs> war and in the military and everything? Yeah, I, I got, I came home on furlough at, uh, when I was in Oregon, that four shipped out. I gave her a dime. Yeah. Okay, so you guys were yeah. together during this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I was, I was still in, in nursing school. Uh -huh. I did, St. Francis, okay. I was a cadet nurse. Yeah. You know. Oh, so you were a nurse in the military. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you all—that is so cool. I mean, yeah. He's, yeah, that didn't even. I I just thought you meant just nor like a nurse at a hospital. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah and uh, let's see where we were. Oh, and I happen to have just finished my probate period, mm -hmm. and so we were together. He gave me my diamond, which I lost in a yeah. truck full of soybeans. <laughs> <laughs> but then, and then he left, and I didn't see him again for two and a half years. Oh, wow. Every, okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, and then St. Francis is a Catholic nursing school, and you, you could not be married, married and back then you couldn't be married. And so, uh, uh, I, get this on. I, oh, don't do that. I want to end. I can use this. Oh really? <laughs> so, but and so I wanted to. I was. I only needed uh, about uh, uh, six months before I graduated, and so I had uh, I stayed there. And thank heaven I did stay. I'm glad I did. Uh -huh. I wanted to get married. You know, yeah. <laughs> we got married four days after. Wow. I had it all ready when we oh, got home. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you guys been together? That was 69 years. Wow. 69 years? September 1st. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. That would be 370 next time. Okay. That's so yeah. neat. And we went, we went back. Phil, he's, we've gone back to Italy like, what, 12 times? 12 times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is so cool. And we, we, we brought, our, took, we took the whole family once. Yeah. And our granddaughter, Brett, one of them. We had two granddaughters, our son was married, and uh, two granddaughters, uh, Jill and Ashley. And uh, uh, when she was, Jill, or Jill graduated from Case State, and okay. Ashley graduated from Holston High School. The so same spring, the, on the same main spring. Main oh, and then I took them all, the whole family to Italy. And wow. Showed them where I thought. You know. That is so, so awesome. Yeah. And Ashley, and well, and while we were, we toured Grandpa's War, and uh, Ashley, we also went to a German cemetery. You know, our cemeteries are, go, you know, the white, beautiful crosses. Mm -hmm. And there's our, oh, you know, this color of rocks. And, oh, really? You know, yeah, not that much. Well, we, you sign in when you go into the cemetery. Well, into the cemetery, you have to sign up. And our Ashley, the youngest one, okay. Ashley, when she signed it in and then she said, 
may they rest in peace, even though they tried to kill my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I thought that was so cool for them to get to see that kind of stuff. Well, cool. That is experience. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I can turn it. <laughs> yeah, turn me, turn me. <laughs> And uh, you know, during World War II, they had the nurses were few and far between to stay at home. And so the government could make it that they really needed nurses. Mm -hmm. And so they, they uh, uh, rather than build another school and a program, they would subsidize existing nursing school programs. Okay. And it cost us nothing. nothing. To go. To nothing. Had the war not been wow. over, once you graduated, you'd automatically been in the Army. Yeah. Wow. And we had, and, and we played. <coughs> and we, if the war was not over, yeah. it was like uh, we were enlisting. Yeah. That, uh, my, uh, we were inducted straight into the Army. Okay. But I, I, I wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like young people today to know about you and your story and veterans? Well, I tell people about it, you know, uh, when they want to know, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I think it's important uh, that they know, you know, that uh, history repeats itself. Yes. And if you don't know, you're walking on dangerous territory. Mm -hmm. You really need to be aware. Mm 